Yeah, my old mate, um, he had an allergic reaction to weed, and uh, he completely lost it. He, he got home. Um... See, he would do stuff like leave his house where he lived all his life, go to the corner shop, forget where he lived after going to the shop, get lost on his way home, be lost for a day and a half, until someone found him and brought him home. And he went on like that for a while. And he wrote this one after his, uh, his wife told me the stories of it. It's an old Southport song, this one. You're gonna have to crowd round me and let me kneel down on the floor in front of me to actually hear anything. Get the fire going. I haven't got as much puff as I used to have. Bet you gauge his way beyond the east. Traffic lights are gone from red to green. Take the mirrors and walk to waste. Drop the calls, cars, everything say. This might be the last time. Let's hope it's worthwhile While the years are and I still feel this song Although everything has changed No words to every song Since I'm a, you know, a newbie, yeah. You're new yeah. Yeah. new to the this team. My, this is my first state. punkaholic meeting. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, you can see from my T-shirt, I'm actually recovering now nicely from my punk years. I'm, I'm getting over it with a little help, support, support from the group. Um, but I'm moving straight along then, preparing my set list. Uh, Come on, come on. Okay, um, do. Come on. Right, this is another Southport one. This is um, my cheerfulest song. Like said. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, I should have brought some tambourines and stuff for a bit of participation. <laughs> it's called optimism anyway. Oh. 
one of course, gonna, and he's a, uh, I'm going to finger pick it because uh, I, mean, I, I think if you're going to do the acoustic thing, you've got to do it, you've got to do it. Um, yeah, it's not like yeah, yeah. to stand up being a punk and doing the <laughs> battering away the guitar. Sold out when you finger pick down on my luck again, down in the mouth again, I'm down in the dumps again. Can't see the sense of it, oh, I'm an idiot, if I know you're not listening. So go wrong again, the same old song again, I'm losing the will to live. I'm off to the neck and it can't see the pain again. London. And, uh, we had this uh, a typical council estate pub right in the middle of the council estate, and um, no no one would go in unless you were 
on that estate, it moved everywhere on that estate. Excuse me, I have a question. <laughs> yes. What's a council estate? This is Stamford, don't you? What's a council estate? You say you can educate the local populace. Peterborough. Okay, Peterborough. It's not Peterborough. It's not Peterborough. It's not Peterborough. It's not Peterborough. So anyway, um, in this local pub, we had some mental characters. One of my favourite evenings was around about 1987 when LSD flooded the estate. Yeah. We were buying it for about 60, 60 yeah. pence a tap. Yeah. And one of, one of the boys in the pub it was like a it was like a Tuesday afternoon or something. There's about 15 up but old boys who are probably my age now, but I was young then. <laughs> they seem like old boys. And he went around and spiked all of their drinks. So about oh, six o'clock in the evening, awesome. where is the he? whole pub came up on acid. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, we came out of the pool room that night. <laughs> was you one of them? No. But I tell you what, who one of them was. He was a, a fella called Martin. He was from Leeds. Martin. Oh, oh, Martin. Oh, he was from Leeds. Martin. I see where this is going. Oh, I see where this is going. Oh, I like it. I like it. He moved down to uh, he moved down to London, and uh, he got he got done for selling ease outside the Camden Palace, and they put one of those little collars on his ankle. So he couldn't go out, but he had some fucking funny ankles, and he slipped it off, and the very next night, he got done for selling ease at the same place where his fucking bracelet was on the coffee table. And that's how come he went to prison for the first time, and he's actually still in the bloody place now, and I'm 49. Anyway, so um, when I first, first wrote this one, I was in a band called Your Mum, and uh, they all just said, oh, fuck off, they were playing that shit. And then I, I hooked up with my old mate Duncan, Duncan Redmond's again, and he put, he, he put some words to it. And, uh, and it was this. Uh, <laughs> everyone, everyone. Back in the summer of 88, the bench outside the Oxford gate. Sponge, spanner, rusty nail, a nice sharp piece of string. Didn't make sense then, it don't make sense now But what the fuck's it matter? Martin missed it doing time I used to like that gigs as well, Martin. Some with smileys and bandanas Some that had heavy manners From the pub to the bookies to the phone to the bar To the cab waiting outside the bar changed hands and we got round Barred nutters flooded back from miles around It was a battleground Went off every night Hey! Martin! Good Martin! Martin. <laughs> I'm sure it's barring somewhere Martin! Martin! Burn it up inside he pushed it all two steps too far La 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 I'm off the law Martin missed it doing time I got cheesier Picked your looks crazier Nostalgia's easier As time goes by but that nostalgia thing says, what the fuck are you looking at? And you miss it doing time. Everybody. Martin! Martin! I'm sure he's firing somewhere. Martin! Martin! Find it up inside. He pushed it all two steps too far. La -da 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, well, Bernie Wood just trying to make it out. Leave it out. Out, would you? Right, okay. All right. Apologies for this, but I'm going to go back to one of my songs. <laughs> that wasn't one of yours? That was kind of half, half one of mine. Half the, I think Duncan did the best bit. Is that nice? Oh. <laughs> my, bit, my, bit, my bit was the bit that your mum said, fuck off, I ain't playing that, it's shit. <laughs> and then he sprinkled his magic punk rock dust on it, and then fucking there we go. People are singing it in bars in Stanford to this day. <laughs> Can I have some of that dust, please? <laughs> See why? One new chords for that. Are they still doing Martin? <laughs> sneak yourself in, Alison. You sneak in. You can It's her birthday day. Hey! Hey! Again, this is an old collaboration between me and, and uh, Mr. Redmonds. <laughs> Again, it's about Neesden. We had um, around about 19, 1989, 1990, you remember there was a big craze for turning all the shops into wine bars. Yeah. <laughs> and then everyone stopped taking ease. Quite right, so. They stopped taking oh, and yeah. started taking oh, cocaine. Oh, oh, they got fucking leery, these wine bars. <laughs> Especially in the, this was a That's this was about a particular part. wine bar in the east of it. Top of the ladder and wine the swine bar. See the sunset of the black bird hill. Something the cocaine and camaraderie, keeping the dogs from moving in front of kill. Friends deserve me through choice and pressure. Front of faces, but I'm not safe. Kiss tone curl blows through your hair. Words fail as the meanings change, but some, somehow. Thank you very much, you've been very good.